Let's look in this tutorial on some basic techniques inside of Photoshop that will help you to bring extra edge inside your images. So bring all of this kind of dramatic look and theming um, inside Photoshop. So for this, we'll look on the different type of overlay and the layer modes. So right here, example, I have an image of the model and this model already was a little bit retouched, so it still have it some a dodge and burn, some small effects, some retouching. But overall, it is nice image, but does not have a specific character. So we can do this by easy adding additional textures over. You can select these textures on the internet. However, I will going to use the vintage paper from the set from Rod Sand. Um, texture paper, and this is available at a DAS 3D. So right here, example, I have this um, paper selected. I'll just select, drag and drop on top of my image. You'll notice the paper is obviously smaller size. So let's press Control T or Command T for the Mac, or you can go Edit and Free Transform. So when it's transform, I hold down Shift key. And we'll try rotate. You'll notice when we hold down shift key, it's kind of lock and rotate it properly. So next I want to expand. So I'm going to one corner and I'll go to another corner so it will cover 100% of our image. Let's go ahead and press enter. So right now the image is covering all of our underlying layer and we want to switch these blend modes. Be sure this Power is kind of semi transparent. So let's look what we have. You'll notice it divided by several groups. We're interested in first, um, probably actually second, third, and fourth group. This will apply more to the darken. And it's kind of you can see first it says darken or multiply. Our other ones is called lighten. So it will go from the gray and up, like screen, make to the light areas kind of apply. And overlay, it's more as a contrast based, or we have a curve, so it's soft light also apply as well. One thing you notice when we're using these modes, we have a color cast that apply to our image, and it's because our original images have this yellowish color. If I don't want to modify any color or color correction to our image, I want to make it black and white. So let's go ahead and create adjustment layer and we'll switch this to black and white. As we create adjustment layer, we don't want this adjustment layer applied to every image because you can see right now it's also applied to our model layer. So we want this adjustment layer effect only layer below. And we can actually let's name as a paper. Here. And to clip this layer or just a um, black and white adjust on a paper, uh, let's go to hold on Alt key and you can move mouse and you can see it's switching to this arrow. Click and it will start clipping. You can do also by right clicking and select clipping from this pop up menu. Okay, so right now, if you notice, we disable and this is applied only to our paper kind of layer. On this case, if we switch to other ones, actually, let's switch on a paper layer. So if we go switch this, you'll notice it's now black and white and it's only apply to the layer below. You can try and cycle between all of them overall. Just let you know, multiply will more effect darkness. And you can see how it's make from 50% gray down to the darker area. Also, plant some whites screen will bring more to the white so it will go from 50 gray and up you can see right here how it's applied it depend what mood you try to present i think the soft light will work very well in our case so next when we have it soft light applied i want to clean up something it's nice i like texture around but we need to clean up around her face so it does not have it all this grungy for this we want to create a masking so as one paper um, layer is selected, let's on a bottom icon so we can click and we're creating masking um, 
channel for this. So in this case, now we can take our brush, be sure it's a black color, and let's set this to about 10%, somewhere on this. And now you can actually paint inside your face. You see how we start cleaning up? So I won't do too much, but I want just a little bit clean up around her. I almost always want to have it a very clear eyes. I don't want to put anything on them if it's only specifically. And just leave it more clean up around. The nice things of use mask, if you think, for example, right here you spend too much, you can always reverse back to the white color and you can paint slightly back the texture. This is non-destructive effect and you can modify how the layers compose. The nice these techniques about adding all these layers with blend mode, you can modify, you can add additional layers that maybe add additional green to this. So let's do a couple more things to finish this image. So one thing I want to do, it is create a new layer. And let's go name the shadows. I also want to take this layer and go fill and we'll fill with 50% gray. And we'll switch this to the soft light as well. Notice because 50% gray, it's become invisible. And next, what I want to do is actually switch to the black mask and just add a few torches, kind of like shadowing around. And this area right here, let's inverse and add a slightly lighter. So I want more concentrate focus on her face than all image around. Okay, next. Let's add a little bit of color correction. So for this, we'll go to create curves. We'll take a blend mode from normal to the color. And the reason because I want effect only colors. I don't want effect the luminosity. Next, in a color mode, we'll go select a blue color. We'll take this low or shadows. Bring a little bit up. And let's go take middle point and drop down. You see, it's kind of create nice, this warmish with some cold. In some cases, we'll call it cinematic curves. So next, we'll go take red and take a bottom, bring more to cyan color. But I don't want effect right this area, so I'll bring closer. We'll add a few points. We'll have a straight line almost going right here. I don't actually want red go over this line. But you notice right here, we're adding somewhat slightly cyan. So let's go back to the blue. Just want to see how it's work okay, right here. I think this is kind of nice, good colors. And if you want to add some additional layer for shadows and luminosity, we can go create another curves. Well, at this point, we'll go switch to luminosity. And as luminosity, what I want to do, I don't, for example, like some of this crushed black, so I can bring blacks a little bit up and we can take just in case highlights and then bring down. I always like to take a little bit, uh, don't have it highest white or highest black. So it's helpful when printing or do other things. So but overall, you can notice right here, we can make many wash out colors or actual luminosity. But I want to bring just slightly up. And right here, you can see we modify our image. Okay, it's before and after which is very simple steps. We add texture, add a little bit correction, and we created now some characters. It's have it already some dramatic look and more interesting image with a simple step with overlay and with the specific modes that we apply to all those adjustment layers okay, before and after. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And please visit us on the web www.geekatplay.com or subscribe on YouTube channel.